time, by the time I meet my clients, their hair loss look like this. And the one thing that they're afraid to do is to touch their hair and do anything to it because they're afraid that they're going to make more of it fall out. If that is you, you do not want to miss today's video. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. Bad growth on the go. If you have stumbled upon this channel and you are new here, hi, how are you? My name is Talitha, AKA the Natural Hair Confidant, here to give you all of the tips, tricks, and techniques that you need to be able to reverse your traction alopecia for good and to never let it happen to you again. So if that is something that interests you, my dear, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that post bell notification so you know exactly when I post another video that can help you with all the tips and tricks that you need to reverse your traction alopecia. ASAP. So in today's video, I am talking about the number one thing that I have seen my clients be fearful of, and that is actually touching and caring for their hair. The reason why they feel that way is because they're afraid that they're going to make it worse. I understand. Most of the clients that I help, their hair loss, when they come to me, by the time that I meet them and they come to me, they look like this. So it's perfectly understandable that they're fearful that they're going to make it worse because by this point one they don't understand why the hell is getting worse in the first place two they don't know what to do about it and three you don't think they've tried a million things to try and reverse it and nothing has worked but you don't need to be fearful the reason why you don't need to be fearful is because your hair is continuing to fall out due to a lack of techniques that you are using in order to re-strengthen it. At this point and stage in your hair loss, your hair is weak and brittle. And the only way to prevent it from falling out is to make it stronger. Strong strands don't fall out and strong strands don't break. I repeat, strong strands do not fall out and strong strands do not break. So I have the top three ways that you can immediately make your strands stronger so that you can touch it and you can style it without fear now everything that you do to your hair needs to be measurable here's a little pro tip for you what you measure grows so the one surefire way to make sure that whatever tips tricks and techniques you're using is effective is to measure your hair growth from weekly that's just a little pro tip. Tip number one, and I cannot say this enough. I think I say this in every video, but I still see so many dry heads. Moisture, your hair needs moisture. Moisture, 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 moisture. We used to think back in the day like, oh no, I can't get my hair wet. That was wrong. That was why most of our hairs didn't grow past our shoulder because it was dry. Your hair needs moisture. It needs moisture every single day day if you are one of the fortunate people not like myself who do not have to put moisture in their hair and it still looks all lovely great for the average african-american black woman though she got to put some moisture on that thing every day every day moisture 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 if you have a moisturizer that is not making your hair um moisturized you might need to make sure that it doesn't have any no-no ingredients in it or it may not just be effective for your hair type and you should change it. The number two tip, protein. Your hair needs protein. It needs to have strong building blocks within its strands. How does protein make your hair stronger? Let's dive a little bit deeper into that. I'm not gonna geek out and get all sciencey on y'all as much as I can. The hair is made up of 95% keratin which is the strong protein that is destroyed from wearing your wig. Keratin is what provides your strands with protection. It is a strong protein. Your hair needs it. So just as your body needs protein to be healthy and strong, so does your hair. So if the one thing that your hair is made up of is destroyed, then clearly you're going to need to replace it. It won't be strong without it, especially because it's 95% of it. So there are several ways to get protein. You can get protein from your diet. You can use protein product packs, conditioning masks, 
deep penetrating protein treatments and reconstructors. And of course, the way that I 100% recommend is through natural sources like eggs, mayos, avocados, things like that, natural hair protein treatment. But you have to be careful because if you have low porosity protein sensitive hair, you don't wanna do protein treatments too much. So you have to look to make sure that your hair needs protein and you're maintaining that protein moisture balance, okay? So when you're doing your deep condition routines, um, make sure that you check to see is this deep conditioning treatment giving you extra moisture or is it giving you extra protein because you definitely need a balance and the way that you can tell is you have to listen to her if she feels mushy all the time she's too moisturized mine don't never get that way if she's too dry and too brittle and nothing's happening then she might have too much protein you have to listen to her speak you have to listen to her when she speaks. But before you can listen to her, you have to pay attention. She gonna talk to you. And the number three tip that I have is over manipulation. When you are in the growing back phase of your hair growth journey, you wanna use a process that I call set it and let it be. Meaning you wanna set your hair up for success and then you wanna just let it be. You want to be able to do treatments to your hair and then let it uh, give it time to allow those treatments to work so for instance in the push through program what we do is we pick a day that we're going to do our treatments and so for example let's say on Sunday that is my off day that is the day that I cook so in between cooking, I'm also doing my hair. I've set aside the entire day for do that, to do that. So on this day, what I would do is I would deep condition, I would detangle my hair, and then I would put it in a protective style. And I would try to let that protective style stay untouched for as many days as possible. Now, the hard thing about this is like I said, most of my clients look like this. And the bad thing is, is they have yet to be able to graduate out of wigs. So they still have to touch it daily. But because the treatments that we're doing is to hold on to the remaining hairs that you have and stop the spread in its tracks. The entire focus is to stop hair from falling out. You can't focus on regrowing hair back until you stop it from falling out in the first place because if you're trying to grow hair back and it's continuing to fall out it's like a tug of war so i hope you found all of these tips amazing and that they help you stop your spreading hair loss in its tracks so that you can be able to fill in your ball spot if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and if you know somebody that could benefit from it make sure you share it on all platforms the natural hair confidant or even my hair confidant get at me and while you're at it do not forget to go over to my website and pick up your free hair growth blueprint that goes all in depth of how to take these youtube tips and turn a thousand tips into a thousand new growth it goes in depth specifically on how to care for your hair specifically for your type how to get more moisture how to make it stronger way more in depth because honestly why watch all these youtube videos if you can't take that information to some with it right so i hope to see you there until the next time i wish y'all the most growth take care